All right, everyone, this is Josh Rubin from East West Healing and Performance, and today I want to talk about how ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to show us a little love and support. Come on. And don't forget to hit that notification button so every week when we put out a video, you get notified. Let's jump in. Now, before we get started, check the description because I want to put some of our old videos in there, or not older, but older, newer videos on the adrenal cocktail. So you can dive a little bit deeper into whole food C and vitamin C foods and the adrenal cocktail and what it's for, what it does. But also um, the other video we have on whole C foods and why whole food C is important, where we can get it in food, which I'll touch upon in here. So what is ascorbic acid? Well, ascorbic acid is added to coconut water, other foods and drinks and supplements and vitamins. The problem is... It is not whole food C. When you look at whole food C, it contains 14 flavonoids, factors P, K, and J, rutin, enzymes like tyrosinase, manganese, phosphorus, zinc, all these different things, potassium. And that outer layer is ascorbic acid. So it's a piece of whole food C. The problem is when you're looking at ascorbic acid that's in the food chain, meaning the processed foods, it's added to foods, it's not coming from nature. It's synthesized from GMO corn with volatile acids, which in a sense makes it a prooxidant, not an antioxidant. We'll touch upon that in a second. So the problem is that's like taking a car and just saying, well, a car is all these different parts, but I have a tire and that's all I have. So I have a car. It's not the same thing. You only have one piece and that's the problem with ascorbic acid. You're missing all the other pieces, all the other enzymes, all the other minerals, the factors, the, the flavonoids, and you have this outer layer. But at the same time, it's being synthesized with volatile acids in a lab from GMO corn, which makes it even 10 times worse, right? What are the dangers? Well, according to Thomas and Lee, when we take in too much ascorbic acid, it can actually deplete our body of vitamin C which 90% of that is stored in the adrenals for a reason. So it can deplete our body of whole food C, but it causes our cells to pull in calcium, which leads to calcification, which can lead to gene mutations, kidney stones, and etc. It is a prooxidant, it is inflammatory. Remember, when we eat and live away to support our environment, we're supporting our cells. We are a conglomeration of cells. And our cells really designed to utilize oxygen, minerals, and thyroid hormone efficiently to produce energy. That energy is money in the bank, and that keeps that feedback cycle going so we can produce more energy. We can come become more metabolic, so we can put money in the bank and pay off our debt, so we can produce antioxidants to support this environment. And that's what Whole Foods Z does, right, from nature, like your citrus fruits, strawberries, papayas, kiwis, things like that. Um, Whole Foods Z supplements, um, acerola, camu camu, things like that. What it does is, number one, it allows us to store 90% of that in the adrenal glands, which is important because it helps us produce our stress hormones. So it helps us adapt to stress. Uh, number two, the most important piece is whole food seed contains an enzyme, which I've talked about before. It's called tyrosinase. And that stimulates your liver to produce bioavailable copper. You store copper in the liver. You need retinol to load that copper in the Golgi apparatus in the liver into a protein called ceruloplasmin. We can call that bioavailable copper. And that bioavailable copper activates oxygen in the cell. It's the only mineral on this planet that activates oxygen. And what happens from there is we produce energy, we produce tons of copper-rich antioxidants. Cytochrome oxidase, glutathione peroxidase, catalase, um, superoxide dismutase. This allows us to... to regulate our functions, get rid of free radicals and reactive oxygen species, etc., And really kind of like say, okay, there's things in the way, there's trash, we can still take it out. The problem is when we're not eating and living in a way to support our cell and we're taking in foods or supplements with tons of ascorbic acid, we're creating, it's, we're creating inflammation. We're not producing any oxidants and we go into that state of oxidative stress, inflammation and cell death. We don't want to go there. Right? So I guess the thing is we have to really look at nature and say nature provided us exactly with what we need. And if we take nature, it's food as supplement. It goes back, way back. Food is our supplement. All we need to do is eat a little bit more fruit during the day. I mean, most men, 
could get by with one or two orange a day. Women, one orange a day. That's all you need for vitamin C. You can only process so much. Getting IVs of ascorbic acid, more is not better. More is definitely not better. So when we look at this, we want to take a look and say, well, if it's built, if it's produced in a lab from GMO corn, which is 10 times even worse because glyphosate disrupts copper metabolism, is it really vitamin C? No, it's void of all these other factors, other minerals and other nutrients. And that's why as a society, we're getting sicker. We're seeing more diseases, more genetic issues, more autoimmune conditions than ever. So next time you go out, think about it. Do I want to buy an orange? Or do I want to buy this liposomal C, this synthetic C supplement? If anything, you don't want to eat the food and you want a supplement, buy some acerola, buy some camo camo, or buy some whole food C for Mito Life. Thanks for tuning in, and I'm out.